Hey everyone, Jason from No Code VA here. Um, in this video, we're just going to look at something called Zapier approval. Um, it does what it sounds like. It's an approval step that you can put into your Zaps, so you can um, so you can get approval before the Zap continues and does other actions. So a good example and a use case for this would be um, something like expense reports, where uh, an employee is filling in um, an expense report, so it has a spreadsheet here with the expenses in, and then when those um, are entered into the spreadsheet, they're sent to the employee's manager for approval before being sent to accounts for payment. So what we have here is just a spreadsheet with that kind of information in there. And then if we look at the Zap, we're just pulling information from that spreadsheet. So we're saying look at the spreadsheet and bring back the information and we can see that it's going to bring back information from the spreadsheet. And then the last step we're actually doing here is just to send um, a, a message in Slack. But normally this would be something like send to the accounts department or even make the payment direct. So, and in the middle, this is the important bit where we have create approval. So the employee fills in, it comes to here, pulls the information, and then it comes to this approval. So how this is set up, if we just go to set up action, by the way, you can just add this by just going and looking for approval and you'll see it's from here, approval by Zapier. So you just add it that way. There's only one event you can do. So you could just create approval as the only action. And then to set it up, you then specify the fields that you want to display on the approval. So this is what the manager will see, something like this. I'll show you in a minute how that looks. But you can go in here and you can add, um, you know, maybe you want the comments in there as well. So you build up the information you want to see from the spreadsheet and that's it. Um, so when that runs um, it will go to a page, uh, let me just close this. So if we go to open inbox here this is the website that the manager will have so you can set this up on their favorites so they can just see anything that comes in here. So it will run it will pull the information from the spreadsheet step one and then it will pause and it will wait for the approval before it does anything else. And then the manager just has to come in here, say, okay, that looks good to me and approve it. The zap will then continue to run and the actions um, after that will, will run. If they decline, um, so put the funds down, then the action will just stop and that will be the end of the zap. So it's a good way of doing that. Other examples of this are use cases. Uh, something like social media posts. So if um, you have somebody so posting social media on behalf of your company, um, then the social media posts go to some kind of manager before they are approved to be posted. So anything that requires a step in between um, the event and the final action, then approval is pretty good. It's still in beta, so it's still being tested, but it's something to look out for and it's something to bear in mind when you're building Zaps because it's, it's quite useful for that. So yeah, I hope that's useful. Check it out. Cheers.